Graffiti is a medium that launches many artists, artists like Eric Garcia, but this South Suburban man who goes simply by Rojo is now making a name for himself, creating large-scale murals that grace prominent walls all over the city. As ABC7's Roz Barron found out, to Rojo, giving back is just as important as creating his masterpieces. I had a group of friends that collaborated in breakdancing, spray painting as well. Graffiti was a huge for me, huge influence. And so it is that hip-hop culture that Eric Garcia experienced that first propelled him toward art. His favorite sport proved to be another one of his big inspirations. Soccer was always a huge influence in my life. I still play, so I spent a lot of time trying to showcase the passion that every player has into a painting. Garcia evolved his work and began calling himself simply Rojo. His work has a style all its own. Portraits with 3D graffiti that I came up with. That's very uh, bright and vibrant. When Rojo sees blank walls, he sees possibilities. That's exactly what happened when he walked into Pilsen's incubator called Blue 1647. And we were just so in love with his work. I said, hey, can you do another one? Can you do another one? And before he knew it, you know, we were trying to say, hey, how can you be a resident artist for all of our locations? These days, Rojo does most all his work from his own studio inside the flagship incubator. Not only are members who work on their startups inspired by Rojo's designs, this artist in residence has found key roles in many of their businesses. He is the lead design consultant for Learn the Brand Impact Apparel. He's helped with logos and things like that. And it's not only for my company, there's so many other companies that have been um, positively affected by Rojo and his art. Rojo is entrenched in the community, having taught art to high school students with After School Matters for the past nine years. Their raw creativity is inspiring. We're only there to inspire and to push them to see what, what limits they have and to go beyond them. And Rojo has found yet another way to foster the talents of young artists with something called Expo Collective. There was a gap missing between their great artwork and trying to sell it and market it. So three years ago, Rojo and two of his colleagues began helping mentor budding young artists in classes, seminars, and even pop-up art shows. Along with teaching school kids art with After School Matters and showing aspiring artists the ropes through his own collective, Rojo also donates his talents with at least one mural a year. This Pilsen wall is just one of his many masterpieces. It's called The Sky's the Limit. Another of his beautiful donated works is this mural in the community room of St. Pius V Church, also in Pilsen. Rojo isn't showing any signs of stopping. He says he has many more walls to conquer. I definitely don't see myself putting the paintbrush down. There's no doubt in my mind he's going to be uh, someone that's going to be well known by everyone. Thanks, Roz. For more information on Rojo and his work, please go to our website, abc7chicago.com. Be sure to click on sections, then shows, then specials.